right, so I have two things that I wanted to test. Um, one is the layering solution from Kilty. Kilty is a new ink producer in Ireland and they have a lot of very interesting products. We are going to be looking at the layering solution. Usually when I want to freeze a layer, I use Kmar, um, but the Kilty layering solution should act the same way. I started with a light pour of Cloudy Blue, Peach Bellini, and Lemonade from Ranger to get a pale background of very light colors. Okay. So for this example, I've divided the paper in half. I sprayed one half with Kmar and let it sit overnight. And then I applied the other half with the Kilty and let it dry for about 30 minutes. And I'll show you some photos where you can see that it's kind of shiny and glossy. This is the Kmar side. And this is where the Kilty layering solution is. It's more of a matte finish. And it's applied with a brush, so there are some kind of streaks in it, but it's not bad. The other thing I needed to test out is some of these Bria Reese inks. And I just opened the blue, and you can see it's all over my fingers. I really don't like the caps at all, but I'm going to use these to um, just apply the darks in this picture of this elephant. And so it doesn't really matter what color we're using. I'm using just the primary colors. Um, and what I'm going to do is leave the light that's poured for the light areas and put the darks on top. Since there's a line between them, we should be able to see how they work. So I'm going to start out with some of this blue because I'm wearing it anyway. And let's get in some of these darks here. So this is on the Kmar section so far. This is just the uh, really dark areas in this ear. And the inks aren't really moving very much, which is fine for what I'm doing. So now let's go down to some of this area here where the Kilti is. So what I notice is that the inks are moving more, but it's not uncontrollable. But there's definitely a difference in how they act. So when the inks evaporated, it didn't move very much down here in the Kilty section. Um, when there's a little alcohol in there, it does move around. And then we come up here to the Kmar, and I don't think we'd even see much difference at all. On the Kmar, the inks don't move very much. On the Kilty, they are moving a little bit. It's certainly not bad. Um, but that is a difference in how they're acting. And let me show you where the demarcation line is. Okay, so the right here. is Kmar. Down here is the Kilty. And it worked really well. So let's look at the pros and cons. So with the Kilty you can apply it with a brush rather than a spray and that means that you can control the area where you're applying the layering solution that you're freezing. You don't have to worry about good ventilation or the humidity or the temperature that you would with Kmar. There's no smell. It's also water soluble. And you get a lot of personal attention from the owner of the company, Daryl Williams. If you need to call him up and talk to him about it, he's happy to converse with you. So the cons are is that the product has to ship from Ireland. And as of the 22nd of January, it's $22 to ship to the US and also to Australia. The batch might be inconsistent as the owner is constantly adapting such solution. I had a batch that was really viscous um, because somebody had asked him for a thicker layering solution. 
So what I had to do to fix it was add 15 milliliters of distilled water, shake it up, leave it for an hour, and when it was done, the consistency was kind of like nail polish. Um, it was thin, it spread, it moved beautifully, it dried relatively quickly. And I have to say that the Bria Reese inks were really nice, except for the cap. The cap's awful, but the inks are beautiful. The colors are rich, they move beautifully, they mix beautifully. I'm, I'm really happy with these inks. I hope this has been helpful to you. Visit us at CherylWilliamsArt.com, the Academy of Alcohol, Inc.